Hi Syntax, so it's finally time to talk about superior fish beings. I love the new intro. It's so pretty. I want to steal it. I might, actually. I loved your predictions for the next 20 years. Anyway, let's get to some predictions. 2021. Surprise One Direction reunion for one song to come. Yes. Yes. One Direction reunion. We love that. It's, it's not likely, I don't think. I really hope. I really hope they come back. My prediction for 2022 was fire. Okay, how can you still not specify what fire means? I was so concerned about the fire. What is the fire? What is the fire about? What is going to be on fire? Is it the entire world? Like 2020? Or is it something specific? Like Daisy's catching on fire? That would be terrible. Or is it like a metaphoric fire in your brain? That would be even worse. Uh... Renaissance. I've changed my mind. This is the weirdest one. By 2027. What what is it though? You have to let me you have to tell me. You have to tell me, Syntax. What is pigeon renaissance? Do the pigeons have a secret civilization that I don't know about? What is this? Hey baby. Kids who dress in retro fashion look like early 2000s emo kids, except they actually don't listen to pop punk, they listen to EDM. <laughs> I love the confused noises, but yeah. I don't know. I, I, I'm I having a hard time imagining the 2000s style coming back around, but maybe we're just still too close to it. Yes. Yes. So many things about the world I window. That's what I'm really hoping for more than anything else overall. I just hope we continue making cool new scientific discoveries and learning more about the world and all the things in it. Such a good goal. Continue to know new things about the world. And here are some of my predictions. So in my prediction, in 2021, chess will become the sport of the year, which kind of already came true a little bit in 2020. I think chess will continue its hot streak into 2021, and uh, more than ever, there will be people playing it. And in 2022, I'm hoping for some hip new social media to take over the world like a storm. And Hank, of course, would be amazing at this new social media site, and he will dominate it and become a new whatever star for 2023, I think someone, someone at this point probably would have invented a shower bath bomb, a contraption that allows you to use bath bombs when you're showering. In 2024, keeping my fingers crossed for the first female president. In 2025, I'm hoping for a One Direction reunion. So 2025 would be the 15 year anniversary of the band. And I think that's maybe something that might come true. But then again, some of the members will be 33, 34 years old by the time. So who knows if they're still doing the whole singing and entertaining the kids type thing. I'm keeping my hopes high though. In 2026, I think we might finally see a conclusion for the main storyline for the One Piece manga. In 2027, um, something that I'm not super looking forward to, but also a little bit excited about, um, it's virtual reality and augmented reality being integrated into everyday life, be it AR glasses or, I don't know, more affordable, portable VR headsets. In 2028, I'm holding out hope for people finally realizing that social media is detrimental to everybody's brain. And hopefully there will be some sort of revolution on social media that, um, as we know it, at least. As a manga anime fan, I have a lot of predictions about anime. So I'm predicting in 2029, Conan, our favorite boy detective, will finally turn one year older. In 2030, my prediction is our beloved Syntax become a published book author. I don't know what kind of books you'd write. Maybe a mystery novel? That would be exciting. I also don't know if that's something you want to do, but I believe if it is something you want to do, you could do it by the year 2030. In the year 2031, I'm hoping for the once world's fastest plane, the Concords, be finally brought back, and I'm minus all the issues, of course. And then here's a prediction that will definitely make John happy. I'm hoping that by the year 2032, AFC Wimbledon will have its first Premier League top three finish, qualifying them to the championship. In 2033, I'm predicting that no one will own cars anymore. Instead of individuals owning cars, there will be companies that provide services of basically self-driving taxis and car rentals. So anyone from anywhere could maybe just go on an app and call one of these self-driving taxis, and it would be more cost efficient and more convenient than owning a car than the cost of maintaining a car. 
Of course, there will be some people who like vintage cars that might still keep their、um, Honda Civic, but most people won't have any cars. Here's a long prediction. I think by year twenty thirty four, there will be a major shift in how people think about computers and how people think about their phones. So currently, we have our phones and our computers as separate devices that contain information that、um, a person owns. But I think we're heading towards a future where everybody has a device that acts as a hub of their personal computing. And it will be a device that holds all your personal information and digital information. And、uh, instead of owning separate devices like a phone, a tablet, and a computer, you will just have different sized screens that you connect your personal computing device to. By year twenty thirty five, maybe we'll find life finally on another planet. That'd be so exciting. By year twenty thirty six, I think because of the development of virtual reality and augmented reality, e learning might become the standard and might be even more effective than classroom learning. For the year twenty thirty seven, I wrote down cyborg human reality, by which I mean there will be the first mass market affordable,、uh, for example, eye prosthetic pieces or arm prosthetic pieces that has smart. Computing components in it that will enhance the wearer somehow. That's a reality we need to embrace someday. <laughs> This might be the wildest predictions of them all. I think the year twenty thirty eight finally marks the year that John Green turns sixty years old. Right. So the year twenty thirty nine, I think U S might be finally adopting a high speed train network across the, linking across the states, and maybe also, one can hope that U S will adopt the metric system. I'm surprised that both you and I had predictions about U.S.'s improving transportation systems, but with dramatically different timelines. By the year 2040, I think there will be about 20% humans that decide to freeze their heads somehow or preserve their preserve their consciousness、um, after death. And I think by the year 2041, it's the time that the Boston Dynamic Robo Dogs will finally take over the world. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but it is a fear that I have. Here's a bonus prediction. I hope by the year twenty one forty one, exactly a hundred and twenty years from now, we'll finally get the good news that Tetris is now officially a sport in the Olympics. All right, Syntax. I hope you enjoyed these predictions. Have a good week. I'll see you next week.